Hi, in this video we're going to introduce you to the basics of debugging. So debugging can kind of be like playing Where's Waldo, where you're looking for a very small detail or something that's just not quite right in a big program. So let's introduce our first two debugging strategies. The first one is attention to detail, because even the smallest syntax error could be the source of the problem, something as small as a typo. And the second is questioning assumptions, because sometimes the thing we are so sure can't be the source of the problem actually is. We need to make sure to question and test everything. So let's take a closer look at attention to detail. What that means is that in our programs we need to get the details exactly right. And that even if something is just a little bit off, the program might not run. But it's easy for things to slip by, so we need to look for typos or small errors which could come in the form of a typo in a variable name, a syntax error in a function, an if statement, or a loop. We could have valid code just that isn't what we meant to write or we could have other accidental mix-ups. Let's dive more into questioning assumptions. See, the computer isn't likely making a mistake. It's just doing it what you told it to do. So if it's not doing what we want, it means that we probably told it to do the wrong thing. So this means likely we've overlooked something. We could have overlooked something as simple as the problem description. We may have made a mix-up on our pre and post conditions that we thought Carol was ending up in one state before starting a new function and that just wasn't the case. The code might not actually be doing what we think it does. And we might have made some assumption that something worked that was actually broken. We might be so sure the problem is in one part, but it's actually in an area that we haven't been looking at. So remember, tricky bugs often have simple sources, whether it's in a 10-line Carol problem or in a million-line code base. These core strategies, attention to detail and questioning assumptions, are the two best tools for any programmer. So the first step is just to always double check your code. So let's debug a problem together. Okay, so in this exercise, we are getting Caro to run laps. And so we're essentially trying to end with eight balls in the corner, run eight laps. So relatively straightforward running the racetrack. We can see we have a loop here to run a lap and each lap is running our sides and a side says, okay, while the front is clear, move and put a ball when you get to the corner and turn left and you're ready to start the next side. So let's see what happens when we try to run this. Oh, so it says bad error on line 16. So it doesn't want to run. So if we look at line 16, what we notice is, you know, we didn't have a good attention to detail. We forgot our parentheses. So we still have for i in range, that looks right, but remember we need to add parentheses around it. That's our correct syntax for our for loop. So now with that in place, we should hopefully loop eight times in our lap. And so let's go ahead and try that. And we'll speak Carol up there, and Carol gets to the end. Good job, Carol. All right, so that worked. Let's take a look at another example here. So now again, same same exercise, trying to get Carol to run uh, eight laps. If we have Carol run here, we'll see what happens. And there Carol goes. So it looks like everything's working fine. We'll see if we get to the end here. Uh-oh, Carol ran too many laps. So we need to look, it says there should be only eight balls, but there's 10 balls in these different positions. Um, so if we look, let's see what's going on here. So we have run side, well that looks right. Run lap, well, it looks like we have too many in our range here. So we're running a lap, four, we're running five sides in our lap. Well, our lap should only have four sides in it. So let's go back and reset that to four. Uh, and then we'll give that a try. So now let's reset our world and run that again. And Carol is off to the races once again. Oh, and this time Carol stopped at the right spot. So again, another example where attention to detail is important, especially you know when you're doing loops, we remember that if it says four eyes going from zero to one to two to three is going to do four times. We need to make sure we're getting those details right. Otherwise, we can get errors. And we saw sometimes we get errors where the code doesn't run, and other times we get errors like this where the code actually runs, but we don't get the actual correct results. 
So this is kind of a start of our debugging and you're gonna take off from here.